right too, Bill. Eileen, I hate to say this. You're a liar. Yeah. You kept saying to me, where's Jimmy? And my response was... You said, I wish Jimmy was here. Yeah, but, because you were being a pain in the ass. I said, oh, God, where's Jimmy when I need him? That was the one time. Eileen. Wait, wait, first, let me finish. You kept, where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? I said, it was your turn to watch him. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is she, my keeper? I know. Where's I, Jimmy? All right, where's I have Jimmy? a question. Since I've seen you last, Eileen, have you been doing your part to promote the prevention of swamp ass? I have, and I took a shower this morning. I just went to the bathroom 15 minutes ago, Jimmy. Now, oh, now do, you, was... do, do you remember what swamp ass is exactly? I do, yeah. Okay, what is it? It's, 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 hey, this could be a new song. It's... Smell it. Stink butt. Stink butt. Because, because there's more, no air gets down there. It, a yeast grows, fungi, you know. And, uh, oh, she's got fungi. Not to mention uh, you've vapors. Got, you've got fungi. Not, not to mention colonic vapors. That's why I'm going to start calling you the mushroom. Colonic vapors. I was going to the bathroom yesterday and I was clean, so if you were here yesterday, everything would have but you weren't here yesterday. Now, what did I mean by what do I mean by colonic vapors? Let, let's test her uh, her her knowledge. Colonic vapors. What did I mean by that? Colonic. Oh God. Oh help! Help me! Ooh. What work? You have blood. You have blood. Thyroid, you know how you test your thyroid? Take, as soon as you wake up, take your body temperature with a good digital thermometer for about five days to a week. If it's below 98.6 for five consecutive days, then you have an underactive. I'm, I'm gonna get right to the point. You have hypothyroid. You, know, you have hypo, yeah, go ahead. You have hypothyroidism. You have a lack of thyroxine, which is a hormone excreted by the oh, thyroid. Oh, Jesus. Is Eileen driving me? Wow. Yes. That's a given. This happens to be maniacal Saturday that madness. Looks like a new one. This is mani No, that's the, the one from before. Get it is a new one. Please, I just can't get through to Eileen at all, can I? Excuse me. Look at that, right here, a big no. It's maniacal Saturday madness. You gotta watch this thing, Jimmy. I see it, man. Good, but you all keep talking. Well, what does that have to do with the the, 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 well, the mysticism of what? Silence. Watch. Observe. Does, does William Morrow want to be the only one talking? I'm not talking. I'm shutting up too. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody I'm sorry. Shut up when, is, when you ask a question. Everybody quiet. Okay, I'm sorry. God, I apologize. Oh, it's incredibly hard to get through to people, isn't it? Yeah. Remember that song, Roller Coaster of Love? Ro the disco song. Roller Coaster. Hello, oh, Karen. How are you? Oh, my God. Everybody's here. Hey, how come they don't have a nice chartreuse uh, vest for you? They got that. that... Yeah, that's. Are Jimmy and I mean a good pair? Uh, maybe in, a, in an insane asylum's fantasy world. Keep talking when I do this. No, but I'm really sick and tired of you trying to pair us up. Well, you all stop talking. I can ask you questions to get answers. I, I happen to have a serious girlfriend, my friend. Okay. She has a boyfriend whose house she's never been to in six years. That makes a lot of sense. Well, I've been to I've been to my girlfriend's home, and she's been to mine. Uh, oh God. Shake that groove thing, shake the groove no, thing. Please, yeah. are you all wound up both I'm singing today? Peaches and Herb, shake that groove no, thing. No, just, you, you remember that disco song? What do you want to know? Let's stop the oh, joke. All right, seriously, joke, seriously. Enough. No, enough seriously. Enough. Oh, you love joking. No, I don't. Just like you love martinis. Very little. I don't go on and on and No, on. I changed the subject. I went from shake that groove. Uh, for no, I, Jimmy, stop it. Roller coaster. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? I want to know no, is don't ask it, just ask, tell me I will ask you Robert uh, will Robert Mueller jump ship and go against Donald Trump's suit I mean jump ship he's always been against Trump what are you talking about 
How can I ask that one? It doesn't make sense. But he... This investigation he, is against Trump. But he, ha he hasn't gotten together with Mueller and made it officially legal. You know... It's all legal. The only thing I know is Trump's lawyers are avoiding the Mueller interview. What? Because they're scared. Naturally. make that your question? There you go. Um, but Trump... Is Trump and Trump's his lawyer, staff of lawyers afraid of the Mueller investigation? That's a great See, question. Is Donald Trump and his staff of attorneys afraid of the Mueller Russian investigation? Did it take any time? Did it? No, that's why they're avoiding it. You, you notice how Eileen fills up her personal bottle up at the gets takes water. Her purse with her, like five feet away, people are going to steal it. Water. It takes her purse with Why her. Why do you care? I take it with me. I left it there. You're not watching. Oh, look at her smile when she talks to you. She's happy. You're happy he's here, aren't you? Can you? For, you can, you can forget him. This is, is grossing me out. Is Eileen real happy that Jimmy's here today? My friend Jimmy right. Madonna is here today. More company, the better. Oh, you know. If, if, if he allows me to communicate. <laughs> yeah, stop with the jokes and be serious and talk to communicate. Yes. Well, how come we joke other times? When the, it's, it's like you say in comedy, timing is everything that's important. There are times when you do, times when you don't. She's here. She's happy to see you. She was all worried. Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Oh, Jerry Seinfeld jokes all the time about everything. It's a TV show. I don't know what he does. Well, it's true. I don't know what he does in private. No, it's a TV show. Right. No, I mean his new show. That's coffee in a car. Yeah, right? comedians in cars getting coffee. But it's a comedy show. He's got to try to be funny. He's not there to have debate like CNN News. He's not Chris Cuomo. Uh, well, go ahead. Communicate. Hello, I Chris see. Cuomo. Hello, He's you good. didn't even He's say good. hello to me when you came in, Bill. Why should I, Eileen? Yeah, that's right. You know, don't be rude. Why should I say hello to you? Oh, be nice, Bill. Why oh. do I want to be nice to you, Eileen? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice to you, okay. Bill. I don't uh, care. Okay, here you go. The, the new. The new horrible forest fires in California. Is this because they don't have the common sense to have metallic roofs? No. Saying yes. No, That's right? the way you prevent the houses from what burning some of, down. Some of the fires in California are oh, you mean Jewish lightning. There are some of the fires in California. Deliberate arson. 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 Oh, really? Yep. Well, there's a lot of underhanded people in America, I guess, today. Gee, where'd that, that ever happen? Um, the guy down the shore has gone to North Carolina now. Why? He's, get getting, from you? he's getting farther away from her. He might be He might be over in Yugoslavia next week. You know why he's in Carolina? I don't think he's there. I think he's just saying that, so... You know what he's saying? She leaves him... Jimmy? She's all yours. Yeah, sure. He, show, he shows me on, on the cell phone the, the area that he's in in North Carolina. Oh. When he goes but you there. didn't bring your cell phone. You always leave your cell phone at home, which is good. That way, in an emergency, nobody can reach you. That makes a lot of no sense. Of what, that's pretty stupid, so, I So, <clears throat> that, that expert... Carry your phone. You never know what might happen to somebody. The expert that does the show about being off the grid... He said, he said, to prevent homes from being destroyed, you must have a metallic roof with no trees near your house. Is this man absolutely accurate? Give it a fucking chance to spin. You're not the only... Uh, yeah, Mr. Mystical person the around the here. Not just the roof. What's going to be left? The roof? The rest of the house? No, because when the embers fall on a metal roof, it doesn't ignite a fire in the home. Houses are bur I've seen houses on TV burning on the side without How? the roof even burning. Really? Come in and ask it then. That's interesting. Well, because the embers come in, they don't always come right down. They on don't the always roof. come right down on the roof. I saw it on TV today. They saw the house is burning on the side. The roof is fine. So that other guy is not such a hundred percent expert after all. The expert. What is an expert? 
somebody who's a celebrity that knows Does a lot. Does the term calling someone an expert make any sense whatsoever? <laughs> Look at that, Jimmy. Big no. There you go. You know, you know the significance. That that's an amulet that is ancient. The blue eye, according to India and the Middle East, wards off evil and uh, hexes and jinxes, which you are probably got the same. all that around you. The evil eye. You've got all evils, jinxes, and banks. And you know what? Did you know that evil spirits can latch on to a person and make them physically and mentally ill? I brought that Did you know that? Saying something to ward off evil, and I put it in my apartment, and my money still got stolen. Still got you said, uh, you said wait your a brother minute. stole your money. Wait a minute. Wait, you, wait, what's, you said your brother stole your money without it. proof. I know. You, how do you know? I know it because, how do you know? Because nobody else stole my money after that. Eileen, our friend Eileen down here at McDonald's claims that her brother stole her money. I know it. Did, did he? Jesus Christ. Jimmy, look. Wow. He did not steal your money. I know he did. Is she, is she delusional? Is well, Eileen, yeah, okay. Eileen says, I know he stole my money. Is she delusional, as Jimmy states? You'll find out when we get to heaven, then you believe me, Stop the heaven shit. Look at that. See? You're delusional. Did, did Eileen really get the same Benedict's medallion, like she claims? What are you, what are you talking about, Benedict's medallion? No, no, the Catholic, the Catholic priests use it in exorcisms. It's the same Benedict's medallion. You want to ask it first? Yeah, okay. It's serious and straightforward. <laughs> you should... I got the medal for 99 cents in the store down on the boulevard. You don't it, put a price on these It things, must be I mean. awfully small. Mine, mine are huge. Hey, his was a dollar five. No, I will bring in mine and show you. I got a whole bunch of them. I can't give them away because Wait, what did, the, what? the store stopped ordering what them. What is your St. Benedict? I don't know what you're talking ben about. St. Benedict is, um, naturally, he was a saint back in the Middle Ages. The Roman Catholics use, the priests use it in actual exorcisms. They use the medallion that's blessed. I'm going to bring mine and show you how huge and fancy mine is. What was your question? What was it? What is it? What the hell was I going to ask? <laughs> yeah, that's why I said people keep All right. talking so much and get to your points. Yeah. What you was it? You freaking was distracted it? me, man. I don't. You All know, right, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Does, uh, does, uh, did Eileen really uh, procure a St. Benedict's medallion? Medallion or medal, the same thing? A medallion is the actual... Don't, don't want to swing, Jerry. Don't want to swing. Medallion is the actual word. Medal is like a nickname. It's Medal means medallion. Well, that's French for medallion. You want me to ask it? Because I don't want no, to okay. about this stuff. And maybe did, did Eileen really procure a St. Benedict's... Don't move it. Well, no, I'm trying to stop it. It shouldn't move until he finishes okay. the question. Did Eileen... Really, no, it, did Eileen really procure a Saint Benedict's medal? Again, you're I mean, interrupting me. Quiet. Now I agree with Bill, a hundred percent. Let me let me do it. <laughs> you two need to run off and shoot each other. <laughs> God. No, I don't know about not me. I'm I'm a hundred percent intact. All right. You want me to do it? Did Eileen really procure a St. Benedict's medallion? Okay. All right, it agrees. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, but, but you lie about that boyfriend, that boy, that cockamamie boyfriend that is down marry, south. marry you when he turns 60. He's what, 63? Um, um, now, uh, is Eileen's medallion of St. Benedict very tiny since it's 99 cents? Holy mackerel. I got a follow up for that one. All right, it says, yes, it is okay, tiny. Jimmy, Jimmy. Wait till you see mine. No. Okay. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. But does the size of the medallion matter in any way whatsoever? That's a good follow up. But does the size of the St. Benedict's medallion matter regardless what size it is? In any way whatsoever. In any way whatsoever. Right into a no. See? There you go. Okay, there except you. when it comes to penises. 
No, nah, that doesn't matter either. Uh, she likes being well, a then how come girl. girls in porn will always say they want a big, they want a big cock? On camera. When they're off, they don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> They're getting paid three thousand dollars to do a port. Yes, so don't buy what you see. So, on so is the is the um, when a, if a girl publicly states that a larger penis makes her feel more aroused, is that is she lying? Yes. Oh, gee. So, so, so is there such such a thing as a vaginal orgasm, or is it? Or it's just clitoral. Is why, there, are you, why are you using that? Does, it, does a vaginal orgasm Kylie, exist? Is such a thing as a vaginal orgasm. <laughs> there is a vaginal orgasm. So in other words, a, a, a an average penis can cause a woman to achieve a vaginal orgasm? Yes. Yes. Okay, so Ruth Westheimer was correct. Well, she's a whack job. Yeah, you I know. know. See that? Dr. Quarter went to Columbia University. I know. He told me she's a whack job. No, he, he says she's a pain in the world. Yeah, she's one of the few women that have had that have a book recalled. What have you heard of a book being recalled? Yeah. Well, he said she was a royal pain in the ass in class. Is the sex is the sexologist doctor who's been around 30, 40 years or more, Dr. Ruth Westheimer? Is she a crackpot? Look how big it goes right into it, Jimmy. Isn't it funny how not everybody who becomes... Ever, everybody lies. Now, not... Everybody Oh, here's lies. a good question. Here's a good question. Celebrities. Your brother also stole your money, but he didn't. Oh, God, help me. Celebrities. Yeah, but he knows about me, and I don't lie, Are there... Are there celebrities... Oh, All right, go ahead, go ahead. I got a headache. Already. Has Arlene ever lied... Well, now you add an, a, an appendix to it. I don't lie. Now it's very seldom. Once and then it'll be once in a while. You wait till I do this, then you start, don't you? Uh, uh -huh. You know what? I'm going to bring whiskey. When do you usually come? I'll you bring, work, it, work it shut you up. I'm going to bring right? booze. The next time I know Will you're going to be here. settle you down? No, it'll settle me down. <laughs> and you. you, you <laughs> I'm not giving you her. You bring stress. If people, if people create problems for me, they want me to do too much, and then I'll lie. But otherwise, on I'll... and on. Does Eileen have a knack for making a short story incredibly long? <laughs> Look at that, right into a big yes. I'm telling you, the whiskey's for there me. There you go. The scotch Did is... you see it? A big yes. Short story, incredibly long. It's like... God, I... Jesus, Eileen... Young? Yes. Give a shout out, man, to my buddy Jeff, Commodore Jeff Zambello. Uh, Eileen. All right. Jesus. Um, if you ever married this guy, how long do you think he could tolerate you? He'll, she'll drive him to drink. He'll, he'll turn to alcoholism. Oh. We've been getting along for eight years now, and he's not Now it's eight or Wait a minute. Before. I thought it was six. Wait a minute. Over seven years. Oh, now it and jumped. You still haven't been down there in eight years, though. <laughs> first she's engaged for <laughs> Kathy. First she's engaged she down for six him? years. Now she's engaged for eight years, and he hasn't married her yet. We've been going out for over seven. Going out in what way? Going out? We're texting. He's called me on the phone. He's <laughs> Excuse last. me. You all go out for dinner. <coughs> you go to movies together. We go to Costco. We have dinner and we have tea. Costco? At Costco. Well, that's a date, and man. We went out to, we ate in Atlantic City, you know. Really? We, Wait a minute. We Wait ate a minute. Other Did Eileen really go to Atlantic City with this so called boyfriend? No, it's saying no. Well, it's true. That thing is lying. I went with them. Yeah. It's the wrong way. Oh, man. I, no, don't talk. Are you lying about Eileen and her boyfriend? I know I went to a van and see it. I got shirt from a van and Well, that's, right. that's proof. That doesn't mean you were there with him. I went with the line down. What do I care about? 
about that thing. Tell the truth. I've been there, so. This guy, I wouldn't yeah. say she's dating, but lives out of the shore and she's probably ever with for eight years. Is this any any kind of a relationship whatsoever? Yeah, they're good. Look at that thing. Huh. Costco. Yeah, whether it be Costco or Bosco, I don't. I see a lot of red flags, Eileen. I'm sorry. We went to a every weekend for over a year. Yeah, every weekend. Every weekend we went. Wait a minute. Where did you meet this? Wait a minute. Where did you ever meet? Wait a minute. But wait a minute. You went. Atlantic City is south of where he lives. You mean to tell me? You, I'll be back after the bathroom. You know, five minutes uh, I'm gonna be <laughs> Drive you she'll drive anybody with a bottle of scotch. I think all that water, you're getting flooded. I'll be right back. I know I went, so that's all that counts. My conscience is clear. Her she's is like Eileen's a car conscience clear. Is Eileen's conscience Will clear? Hold on. I think she's like a car dealer. Is Eileen's conscience clear? It is. Okay. Now, does what Eileen believe is just her perception? Yeah, there you go. There you go, too. Yes, it's only your perception, Eileen. You're only per you're, you're only perceiving what you say. Wow, it's going into a big... Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, Billy, it's swinging into a big yes. Her perception, she just perceives everything she believes in. Oh, delusional. Oh. oh my God. Let me let me just get let me just decompress for a bit. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that that means calm down and fancy yeah, right. fancy life. Let me have Oh, let me take some swigs of. I should have brought my scotch in in a mason jar and poured this in. Scotch and soda. We'll make the scotch and sprite or scotch and sprite. What about Irish up my coffee? Irish coffee. Whiskey and coffee. Are you Irish? You know, you know, I have a real, I have a blackthorn shillelagh for real. And I hang, I have it hanging up in my. I have one. I could bring it in, but I don't know what you know what when you're gonna show up. Blackthorn. How can I have one? I got it. That's how I can have one. Because I like. No, I like. I like. I used to use it on my talk shows because it helped me emphasize. I got. I got it from when Judge Judy used to slam the gavel on her on her desk in people's court, and, and it helps me. It helped me emphasize during talk shows. Judge Watt. Judge Watt. Oh, he was the first. He was the first. Judge Judy yells at. She scolds everybody. Yeah, but anyway, um, let me tell you, the Blackthorn Shillelagh, I, when I knocked on it, like knocking on wood, it hurt my hand. That, that That's hard wood. They used to use it as weapons. And, and what happened was um, the British, originally the Shillelagh was made from oak. And the, the English destroyed all the oak trees in Ireland. That's why they went to the Blackthorn, which is grown in County Wicklow which is south uh, east of Ireland, in the southeast corner. They have the Blackthorn Forest. Little education for, for people out there. But it really was a weapon a from the Celtics, warriors. And Rome never, never was able to invade uh, Ireland like they did um, England, actually. Now, Scotland, they never quite invaded Scotland. They so said, well, for some for some weekend. reason, William doesn't believe you. Yeah, well, you don't want to believe me. Well, he kind of he kind of likes to be the only one that's allowed to talk, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. So. 
Roller coaster of love. Say what? Well, well, the only problem is, what I can see is if you if you're going if it's going to be eight years since you've known him, there's a good there's a good chance he's got a there's a good chance he's got a wifey in his house. That, that why hasn't he brought you for a weekend or a week to stay in his home? Your brother? Tell your brother to mind his own damn business. He don't mind his own business. He always what, he's like a vagabond, like a mooch, what? right? He's like a moocher. He, he, he always wants, wants everything from everybody. You know what? You know how you get rid of him? <laughs> you say, get the hell, get the hell out, scram. You know, your boyfriend can call the police on him, you know. It won't work, he won't call the police on him. Why not? Did you hear this? She doesn't go to her boyfriend's house because her brother would intrude and try to get into her boyfriend's house and mooch off him. I said, why doesn't he call the cops? And where did you get this stuff from? Listen, wh why doesn't Eileen? Why doesn't Eileen's boyfriend? It, do you think he, all he has to do is file a police report that this guy is intruding? Yes, Eileen. It's as simple as that. Oh my God! Oh, oh, help me! I need Does scotch. Eileen have an incredibly wild and unbelievable imagination. Look how fast she is. Now she hasn't been to her boyfriend's house because it's her brother's fault. Isn't that incredible? Is Eileen not going to the so-called boyfriend's house out of the shore? Her brother's fault? Oh, Eileen. She's a storyteller. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I don't well, why does your boyfriend so. tolerate this guy? That's it's your boyfriend's house. What, is your, what does your brother have to do with a so-called boyfriend? Is her? Is, I think she's paranoid of her. Is Eileen paranoid about her own brother? Is I is Eileen paranoid about her own brother? Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Now, now, brown. Remember the Hakawis on F Troop? Oh. Where, uh, Frankie Corva, he was an Italian playing the chief of oh, Hakawis. Oh, Decova, I'm sorry. Corva. <laughs> That's Dr. Kavorki. I remember him. He was a mean ass guy. Oh, What's wrong? Oh, he's a character actor. Well, but I saw him with the Untouchables and so on. I I think he's, uh, he's, like, he's like he's like a male Eileen. You hear him? You hear how he talks? Yes. Um, Have you two met before? Not for quite a while. Uh, that's Eileen. That's that Ray. It hasn't started yet, Ray. Now, um, just to change it, to get off the subject, because this whole thing is getting on my nerves over here um, with these individuals. Ray, it hasn't started. I'm talking about the World Cup. That's South America. Well, you said That's football Europe. season. Yeah, well, will, oh, will, will, will William H. Morrow's Indianapolis Colts have a good season in this this year? Well, wait, it's swing. you got to do this. All right. Will Billy Morrow's Colts in the NFL have a good season. Follow up with will they have a great season? Will the Indianapolis Colts have a great season this year? They got Tom Brady. 
Yak, 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 yak. What are you doing? I'm warning you about warning you. Look at that. Okay, let's hope it's fine. Okay, now, were the fans of Baltimore furious at the owner of the Colts for moving the Colts to Indianapolis? And they're worse. Much worse. Yes. I know why you're rough. They still are. They're still very bitter about it. Well, because the Colts is, belong in Baltimore. They're legendary Colts. That's right. You know, when you think of the Colts, you think of Bubba Smith, Johnny Unitas, uh, Don Shula. Oh, what a history. What a tradition. Don Shula. Blows in the air. Everywhere. Now, Roger Storback played for Navy. You know that? Yes. Can you imagine this could you imagine a reality show based on those two? It's worse than The both of us would be drinking lots of martinis, sir. You can't watch a show. You could not watch a show. I tell you one thing. If I if I if I videoed that, that that'll probably go viral on uh, on YouTube. <laughs> Is this reality? This let's uh, let's us just enjoy. Damn, I should have brought scotch with me. It's kind of a scotch weather too, because it's like crisp and all. Jimmy, what weather isn't scotch weather? No, not well, not a heat wave. Yeah, it is. You can still have it. Come on. No, that's awesome. that's ice cold and beer. Oh, no, you can have it any time of the year. Don't oh. give me that seasonal crap like you do with my ice cream. Oh, oh, trays. by the way, how and, are the your 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 uh. What was seasonal the food? Oh, all these tells me yeah, it's seasonal. It's seasonal. Like, oh, oh shepherd's pie. It's seasonal. Uh, stuff. Yes, yes, people don't eat it in the winter. Stuffed clams. Um, um, um. I eat ice cream in the winter. Who doesn't? Why does Dairy Queen close down in the winter? You ever notice that? No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. DQ? No. Never. Never. Well, the one in Saddlebrook does. I doubt that because they sell oh, all the stuff. You know, how were how were those beers I gave you? That good, time? excellent, excellent. You made them icy cold, right? Yeah, they're cold. Shit. Next time I see you, I got, I got a new one for you. It's called um, it's a brewery out of the state of Maine called Dogfish Head India Pale Ale. You know the dogfish is a um, yeah, but India beer is horrible. No, 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 no. It's not from India. It's it's called IPA. It's a uh, dogfish head. Is um, it's a shark native to the northeast, east coast. It's a shark. Anyway, I'll bring it to you tomorrow if I see it. Oh God, should I, I should have brought whiskey with me? This is this is like worth a front row seat. Excuse me, while I play the ukulele. <laughs> Tiny bubbles. <laughs> In the wine. How have you been? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. In the wine. Yeah, I got the kids in the white. Well, at least you got white teeth. Like you got white teeth like that commercial, the blackjack dealer. Oh, okay. You ever see that commercial? The dude that works in Vegas that got his teeth taken care of and they're like absolutely white like a neon sign? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. You know what? At least he at least he got at least he got her off our back. Tiny bubbles. I need a martini for me and Billy. I am. I mean, be quiet, meaning. Can't hear you, man. Is it because she's Irish and she kissed the Blarney Stone? Yeah, but she tells a lot of tall tales. I can't hear you, man. You whisper a lot. Bullshit artist. She's a bullshit artist.
Look at that, look at that. She gets very nervous when we ask questions about her so-called boyfriend. And the brother? I wonder how much the brother really... Is she using... Listen, is she using her brother... Is Eileen using her brother as a scapegoat for covering up her boyfriend's real intentions? Jimmy, do that. I'm going to have a cigarette real quick, okay? I'll be right back. No, I'll join you. It's saying, yes, she's using... She's using her brother as a scapegoat for her boy, her boyfriend's lack of sincerity. That is, it's going into a big yes. The mysticism of the pendulum, man. And look at that. Authentically, authentically, historically documented amulet from ancient times. Man, God, moral. Yes. An Italian, an Italian restaurant. I grew up with that food. I don't want that food. What are you? Yeah, what are you? Holy crap! Yeah, what, what are you? Uh, uh, what are you, Senator Elizabeth Warren? She thinks she's part uh, Native American too. She might be if they do Well, Donald Trump says she's full. She's a liar. How does he know? Yeah, you're right. How does he know? How does he know? What did he also say about the, the, the uh, Central Park Five? He make he makes fun of uh, Pocahontas. Uh, What's the birther issue with Obama? What did he do with that? He won't let go. Right. Remember, you're listening to a moron. Okay. That changes. A guy who, they ask it. That lies. That is our president Donald Trump an absolute idiot and moron? Is our president Donald Trump an absolute idiot and a moron? Right into a yes. What I tell you. Right into a yes. There you go. Is, 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 is Donald Trump a pathological liar? Yes. Does, Don, is, does Donald Trump know ahead of time that he is going to lie deliberately? Oh, it's going into a big yes, Billy. Mm -hmm. Karen, I don't. Now he's now he's going to bother Karen. I don't know about you, but he's getting on my nerves. No, he's he's, he's very he's very obnoxious. He's like very. I kept cutting you off. I don't know him. That's now you do. Yeah, unfortunately. When I tell you to do something, I know what's going on. Now I know I need to bring a mason jar of, of whiskey or rum. Yeah, you're right. There is no season for a good bottle of hooch. So what is season? Yeah, what does it mean? Like, you know, it's... Yeah, what does it mean? It's out of season. It's in season. Food and beverages. There's a term seasonal total load of bullshit. I shouldn't waste any time, Jimmy. You know, I think I think establishments use the word seasonal so they can jack up the. Oh, that's, that's a good. Cool. Do uh, restaurants and food markets use the term seasonal as an excuse to jack up the prices? Oh, it's a game like the stock market in Wall Street. Yes, absolutely, it's a game. What underhandedness! Shame on them. Are they equivalent to carnival charlatans and hucksters? <laughs> yes. Yes. Is is American politics today equivalent to uh, carnival charlatans and hucksters? She's got to walk her way. Yes. Look, look, Jimmy's Jimmy. She's walking out the door. With that guy? No, herself. I don't know. Unless he left first. I didn't see her. Oh. She just walked out. Well, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe they're gonna have a quickie in the car. Are, are, is Eileen and that crazy man going to have a quickie t tonight or to? Yes, it's saying they're gonna have a. a that she that's. Didn't even say goodbye to any of us, did she? That yes, yeah, and yes, yeah, and how rude. 
No, she left. She went out the door. She went out the door. How rude that was. Oh, she's a whack job. Oh, she, she's definitely a whack job. Eileen, does she belong in an insane asylum? Of, look, 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 Billy. She belongs in an insane, insane, yes. She belongs in an insane asylum. Um, technically, does our President Donald Trump belong in an insane, in an insane asylum? No. Yeah, I agree with that. No, it but says no. He's a whack job, but he doesn't believe it. No, but I think he's I think he's very I think he's very deliberate in what he well, does. Yeah, that's different that's a whole different story. You know, like 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 Tony Robbins. You know what he does? Motivational speaker, he tells a lot of stories and he fills up time. Like he gets he takes people's money. So you buy his product and he guides you on and to continue you have to buy the next volume of DVDs. My buddy did a video for him. He told me about the bullshit. So he's like a mega church uh, evangelist, TV evangelist. My buddy had to fly to North Carolina to do a, 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 a documentary with, with four or five of these different motivational speakers. Tony Robinson, and I forget who else it was. And he said, I overheard them, Billy, in a room together, and they were making a joke of the public. So you people buy and hey, believe this shit. You know, Reverend Ike used to mock people out in private, too, yeah. calling them a bunch of suckers. That donate money. T. Barnum is a sucker born every minute. Remember the Geico commercial when Pinocchio says, "Everyone in this room." I feel great. Something or other in this room. Great. Untapped. Untapped potential. Mm -hmm. Everyone in this room has remember, untapped remember, potential. Remember the dumbass in the front when he heard what he wanted to hear. He that's what I want to hear. Who, I me? I have untapped, I have untapped potential? potential? I could be somebody. Oh, I could be somebody. I could be a success. Yeah. I told you about the, the greatest the greatest commencement <coughs> you will ever hear. I told you about that, right? You are remember you, the commercial. Are you listening? The greatest commencement speech ever. I told you about. The guy didn't lie like everybody else. And all the commencements, you're all special. You're all, he came on and it was all over the news. And he said, none of you are special. He said, stop the crap. You know what they do? He, he said, said, you've got to go out and make yourself special. Do you, I'm not going to give you the crap that you're all special. You're all going to do these great things. I'm done. No, I went for smoke. Yeah. On that side. Well, I jumped up to the roof. Why, does he give you rides? Well, she has a nice car. Oh, you have a car. A beautiful car. Unlike these other people that take the New Jersey Transit. She gave me a ride one day. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Um, I was in the shop and I, it was hard for me to walk. I remember I said I could my breathing. Um, yeah, that was dry. So I guess you can go out for some day. Okay. See you tomorrow? Are you in tomorrow? No. No. I'm Monday. Okay. Well, you know, I'll be here before you then on Monday. <laughs> Monday. So, next week's my birthday. Oh. Oh, so you're a cancer to crap. This is me. Oh. I'm August 1st. <laughs> Leo, Leo. Crab. He's, Crab. he's a Virgo. Uh, it doesn't mean he has nice legs. They're very critical. <laughs> Virgo people are famous for being critical. You were very meticulous. Everything's got to be just right. You don't tolerate bullshit, you know. Yeah. We're using my, mysticism, the pendulum. I, people laugh, but it, but it, I'm not moving it really. Want me to ask you a question? You the only one. Am I right? Hey, what are you? Okay, see. You look, you're 45. Yeah, but you have smooth complexion. You you, you look. Uh, you must be doing my magic skin formula that I yeah. sell on TV. <laughs> yeah, O'Keefe's. She's using O'Keefe's. How long have you been married? Almost five years. Fairly, fairly. Oh, you're married for five years. How about that? Oh, that other cuckoo bird! Thank God they they got rid of her. Chris, Chris, oh my God! Oh, she was really a piece of work. All she does is pop out. She gets knocked up. She gets knocked up. She doesn't have a pot to piss in, and she gets knocked up all the time. 
She's like Octomom. Remember her from Florida? Well, that was eight compared to three. Yeah. Well, she took fertility drugs. There's a woman that had four kids already, and the doctor gives her a prescription for fertility pills. This is a Octomom. You know, um, motivational. I used to eat octopus sushi, but it's a little chewy though. Well, that's tender at least. You can, it's tender. You like calamari? You like scallops? Gotta be fried with marinara. Deep, you like scallops, Karen? You like scallops? Oh. I love scallops. All, all kinds of scallops. Bay scallops. Sea scallops. Oh, I love it. I love eight fish. Calico, calico scallops. I don't know. The little <laughs> tiny ones. Well, we have flounders from Dilly, Gomez, clams. Clams. These are all my favorites. Zuppa di pesce. Zuppa di pesce. And I love the, uh, I love the uh, scallop. I love the scallop free. The, in the buffet, they had bouillabaisse in a cream sauce. They had mussels, clam, uh, cherry stone clams, and shrimp in a cream sauce. Oh man, was that great! I put it over over some uh, Arabic rice with almonds in it. Sliver it. I got it at a buffet in Saddlebrook. At a Walmart. But I always ask all my friends, "How's everything good?" The Saddlebrook, the Saddlebrook Mall, on the way to Friendly's in Elmwood Park. <coughs> Tomorrow's your birthday? No, Wednesday. My parents are going to work on the day. They open the day. They're going around Tuesday. They're going to be surprised if you see me pop out of a cake. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? You pass out so you can throw up. <laughs> Dad got cake out of here. We don't need that junk. <laughs> you know, you know where they overdo. You know where they overdo the saying that, "Oh, you're all special." Is parents think their kid, especially yuppie parents with money, think their kid is special. Their kid is more special. You, have, you ever see kids in little league baseball? The parents are yelling at the coach. How come my kid is sitting on the bench? Well, like William said one time, maybe your kid sucks. Maybe, maybe he can't play baseball. That's the bottom line. Maybe, play your best. Maybe he can't play baseball. That's how my brother was. In every every sport you can think of, he was doing baseball, football, Where are you going? literally everything. And my father was the coach. But he had to learn. Right. That Ray left too. I don't know what he did. Yeah, like, just yeah, he left you know, with kind of, her. It's kind of weird, like one minute before her, and then she got but, her. But, but, did, did, did the parents get now, uh, we go out yell at the coach a lot? Because <laughs> <laughs> your father wouldn't take it. My father wouldn't take it. I say, I would put the parents on the, go up and I bang on the, the window, splintered Karen. bench. I say, hey, get you, you <laughs> out of the stadium. I would evict the son of a bitch. And then if he tried anything, I would keep a, a billy club or a shillelagh or... I would keep a shillelagh with me in case the parent tried to attack me. If I was the coach, I'd right on the temple. Right, kill him. Kill him right away. Boom. Oh, boy, I wish the best possible for you. Now I'm all riled up. Yeah, I know you are. Boy, we can't shut you up, Jimmy. No, because of the parent. I know the coaches get yelled at, you know? We all know that. How do you know, how do you know we all know it? I played my whole life. I was an athlete. I was a cop. I, I played football for 37 years. I was a boxer. Because, because their kid is more special on, than everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to be a wrestler? I wanted to be a wrestler. Oh. <laughs> That's my middle oh. name. I really have. I should bring the shillelagh in. William Hamilton Morrow III. Yeah, you sound like. <laughs> it even has a shamrock <laughs> on it. Come quickly, yes. Hamilton. He's <laughs> like. He's like. He's like Thurston House. <laughs> it has a, a shamrock on it too. It's a authenticity. Authenticity. Yeah, how did, yeah, how did yeah. Thurston, and Powell, and Lovey get all that furniture? I know that. Where is who, it? who built it? Kane, Kane, old Governor Kane. You know, uh, the, yes. the skipper, Kane Gilligan, the, the professor, they slept on hammocks. Thurst, Thurston had a bed. But they never showed Marianne's hut, Ginger and Marianne. So we don't know if they slept on a hammock or not, really. 
Let's go. All right. You know what? That's it. That's enough. That's enough for one day. Oh my God! This is maniacal Saturday madness. Maniacal Saturday madness. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.